Hi everyone, I am out today, but you are going to be starting working on planning uh, your piece of a large school project that we're gonna do that's involving every student in our whole school. So, uh, based on the work that we have been doing with second, third, fourth, and fifth graders on uh, Dare Coulter and Kwame Alexander, we are going to be creating an all-school mural based on the ideas of joy and community. One of the things that Dare Coulter says about her work is, it is my honor to be a representative of our joy and I'm looking forward to years of creating pieces that reflect our joy back to us. And that is what our job is going to be for this project. For this project, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be creating tiny tiles of art that are going to represent joy and community. I want you to think about things that make lacrosse unique, like maybe our bluffs, our bridges, or maybe even a favorite restaurant or a place to visit, like I know many of you love visiting the Pearl to go get some ice cream, uh, which brings joy and represents our community. So I want you to think about those different places or things that represent lacrosse as well as joy, and we are going to be using those to plan out our art project. For each person's tile, you're going to create something that represents joy or community, and you're only going to be using one color for this project. Now, the change with that is that you will be able to use multiple different materials. So you're only using one color, so maybe just red, but with your red, you might use red marker, crayon, and colored pencil to get light reds and dark reds so that you can really show your picture. I have an example that I've included in the video of what this project uh, could look like when it's done. Although this one we did with all faces and um, we are not gonna do faces for this project. For this project, we're doing joy and community. But I want you to see how your uh, using just one color is gonna help make a big giant rainbow when we get to doing our entire school. So um, that is what you are going to be working on for today. Check out the example and follow along with the video. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you're super great listeners. I know you can do it. I'll see you soon. In this example, you can see how all of our individual squares of single colors will come together to make a larger rainbow effect when we do the mural all together. You can see everyone's creativity in their own piece and how they all come together to make one giant piece of art. Today we are going to be completing this worksheet for an upcoming project. The first thing you need to do is add your name. Then you need to circle which grade level you are because that's how we will know which color you will use for this project. For example, if I'm in kindergarten, I would circle the K and red. I will use that for my example today. Next, it says joy and community. Here, we will draw or write some ideas of things that bring us joy. I might write down the word puppy because I have a dog who makes me really happy. I also might write things like balloons, ice cream, movies, traveling, and butterflies. If you don't know how to spell your words, remember you can draw your ideas instead. Next, we will be drawing a design in each one of these boxes. In art, it is a very important step to try different ideas before we work on our final project. These will be sketches and will not be our finished piece. Our finished piece will be done on a piece of wood at a later time. What brings you joy? What could you draw to represent our community? You might include things like the bluffs, the bridges, maybe one of our beaches, or a favorite celebration or time of year in lacrosse. Let's pause for a quick class brainstorm about what brings you joy and what you could draw to represent our community. One of my ideas was a balloon, so I'm going to start by drawing a balloon. After adding my balloon, I'll add an ice cream cone, a symbol for movies, as well as a paper airplane to represent travel. You should sketch out four different ideas. Put one idea into each square. After you've drawn your idea, think of how you can fill the rest of your space. You might add borders or patterns in the background to help fill your space. There are many kinds of patterns you could try. I tried a checkerboard, swirls, clouds, and polka dots. I wonder what other ideas of patterns you can come up with. 
The next step of the project will be using all of one color of materials to fill in our space. You can see here that because I was a kindergartner, I'm using only reds to fill in my space, even though I have things like a sky in the background that would normally maybe not be red. I will start by outlining the object that brings me, makes me happy with a marker. You'll notice that I switch between materials as I am working on coloring. I usually start out with marker so that I can make my object stand out and then use colored pencil or crayon to fill in the background. You may decide what works best for you. Take your time and try your best on each one of your blocks. Remember that you will only use one color for your entire project. When you're completely done, circle whichever one is your favorite. If you have extra time, you may draw on the back side of your worksheet.